Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make some pavers using shredded paper and a few other things. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to get is some shredded paper. Then you're going to need some water. And if you want to have coloring, you need to get some paint. I'm using acrylic. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take and put some paint in with the water. Stir it up until it's all mixed up gray. After that, you want to pour some in the paint, water mix, into your paper mix. Okay, at that point, you have a couple of options. You have this big paint mixer, this littler one, and then there's this one. I've never used this one before, so I'm gonna try it and see how this one works. Okay, now, one thing I will say is that if you are making this, and you don't have one of these little mixer things and you have like an old um, thing that you have that's more or less like um, like a food processor or a blender that is no longer in use you can always repurpose that but I don't recommend you doing this with your food processor or blender and then reusing it for food this one is adjustable so I can move it down just like that which is really nice normally I would make this in a bigger batch but just for the tutorial purposes I'm doing this one I would not wear any clothes that are gonna be needing a uh, used again because it could splash up on you. I'm going to use my husband's drill because it's a little bit more powerful than mine. And now we're just going to mix it. got that mixed. Now what we want to do is mush it a little bit more with the paint stirring stick just to kind of swish all that water that's on top back to the bottom. Then at this point you can leave it like this or you can continue to the next step. Because I'm making some mixture that I want to have it stick a little bit better, I'm going to be using some cement. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of sand. So I'm going to dump that in there. It's going to give it a little bit more texture to have that grit. Mix it 
all together. And then we're gonna let that sit and absorb into there. All right, now, this is a bigger batch. I started about a week ago. So we're gonna let this one that we just did sit for about three days, maybe a little bit less, cause it's not as much in there. Um, and then it should be thick and you shouldn't see the paper evidence in like strips like you do there. Okay, once that's done, you see how it wants to roll out of the bucket a little bit? That's because it's finally starting to get thick. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the cement without the rock portion, so you probably wanna get a strainer or get the kind that doesn't have rocks in it. Okay, since mine has rocks in it and I didn't want rocks, um, I asked the guy which one had rocks and which ones didn't and he, per, you know, he recommended the brand and he's clearly wrong. So I'm gonna use a strainer. I got this from Restaurant Depot or actually the restaurant store. You can find them online. Now I'm just gonna put this on top of here so it sifts out those rocks. Let that dust settle a little bit. And back to the mixing. take some of this wood glue you can use any glue really but I'm using wood glue because I like how it sticks to the wood and I'm just gonna dump some in there that's just gonna help everything bond together once it dries and stick to the wood At this point, I'm going to do a little bit more cement. And this is basically just absorbing the water that's left over. You may want to wear a mask. It gets kind of dusty. As you can see, it doesn't look like paper. Now, the one thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you wash everything off immediately because it does have concrete in it. As you can see, this is our original mixture, which will take a few days to get to that point because you need to make that paper really icky um, and have it break down. Okay, that's that one. Now let me show you this that we just did. Try and get a little bit. And that kind of just looks like mud, which is the texture that we want. Push down any concrete that's on the edge. And now I'm going to show you how to make your stones. There's two ways to do this. Step one, you can lay this all out and squish all the water out of it. And then you can break it apart like you do egg cartons. Just put it on a very thin um, cookie sheet, let it dry, make sure it's not one that will rust, um, or put it on some wax paper. After that, that's the first option. Second option is you can get the kit that allows you to do this. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use one of my boards. And 
I'm going to use my acrylic stencil. This is 1 8 inch thick, so your bricks will be a little bit thick. All right, so for this kit, I'm just going to line it up on the edge. When you first get it, you'll have to pull the protective coating off of it, and then you'll have to crazy glue the handles in place so you can lift it up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my mixture. Not a whole, whole lot, but just a little bit. And I'm going to press them in place. Now this is still a little wet, so if yours is this wet, you may want to let it settle down and dry up a little bit. Just remember you have quick concrete in there, so it can't let it set for too long. I'm just going to press that down in those little holes and just kind of use this as like a spatula. To get it in there where you don't want it or where you do want it and off of the surface of it and it's okay if it's bumpy because rocks are not flat Okay, so just keep spreading that around in there. Make sure that it's not overlapping it though. You wanna make sure when you go across the top of it, it's flat along this edge here. And you can take your finger and press it down in there if that makes it easier for you. It's up to you. The tool is just there to help you get it in there a little bit quicker. Now, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, that's what your stones would look like. And then they should dry like that. Now, if you want to go to the edge of your building before you put your stuff in, then you would just do a partial stone. Which, I'm going to get some more. And a partial stone, you would just do the edge. Just like that. And then it would be like that along that edge. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to go ahead and work on this end. And I'm going to show you how to blot out some of the liquid. Okay, so once you have that like that, if you have a lot of excess water, just press down with an old cloth. And it'll also give the top of your bricks a little bit more texture. And you wanna very carefully remove it. Some of the bricks I just put in so they're not quite dry enough to pop out yet, but. And then now you do want to wash this off so that it doesn't have concrete stuck to it. Okay, so once it's cleaned off, you want to go ahead and dry it. Or let it dry, either way. But just very lightly just blot it. Because it is only 1 8 inch. And it's got a lot of holes in it, so it's going to be delicate. I'm using a microfiber um, rag, no chemicals, but if you need to, you can use like a little bit of Dawn soap for your dishes.
And I just squirted it off with the hose so none of that stuff ended in my drain. But I guess if you had a utility sink or something that was capable of swallowing that stuff down the pipes, then I guess that's an option. You have to determine that based on your house. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. Now, if this does not stick on this board, because I did let mine get super, super wet instead of letting it dry just for the video purposes, um, if it doesn't stick to the board, you can take it off and glue them down individually. All right, now make sure you clean all of your tools very thoroughly so that they're good for the next time. Now, as far as me showing you what this will do to your wood if you put it on there too wet you can see right here how there are bubbles and they dried with bubbles in the wood so make sure yours isn't as wet and goopy as that was you can add more of the um, paper or more of the cement and stuff to it to make it less but it will warp your board so don't put it directly on there when it's that wet especially if it's MDF. All right, so I'm gonna post pictures of this on Facebook and on my website, so check that out when it's completely dry and you'll be able to see what this looks like. All right, thanks for watching. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below and I will see you in the next video.